Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Xdang Trifecta ALX on this 2022 Ford Maverick. For this installation, I'll be using a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench and a T20 Torx wrench that are included in the kit. I'll also be using a T30 Torx bit along with a ratchet. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with all our latest content. Let's go and get started. All right, now whenever you pull the cover out of the box, underneath where your clamps are, those are gonna be banded in place along with your tether straps. Go ahead first and uh, get your clamps freed up. Also do the same with your tether straps. And what you wanna do is make sure that your clamps are pushed through your tether straps. Now we can go ahead and put the cover onto the bed of the truck. Our bulkhead seal is gonna sit right on top of the bulkhead. And make sure our clips are facing towards the cab of the truck. Get that over top, get it centered side to side. We're gonna undo the clamps and fold it to the tailgate. All right, once we're at the tailgate, we'll want to center the cover front to back and make sure it's centered side to side back here in the back. And once we've got our alignment set, we're gonna very gently fold the cover towards the cab of the truck. Make sure we don't shift the alignment out of place. Now we can go ahead and attach the clamps underneath. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is pull our clamps down, slide it over to the bed cap. Now you notice this jaw will actually slide up and down on the threaded shaft. What we're gonna do is get that lined up to the bed cap. As we're holding it in place, we're gonna go ahead and turn this handle. Now once it connects to that, uh, that clamp, we're just gonna keep turning it and you'll notice that this is being drawn down, it's compressing that seal up top. We're just gonna get that nice and snug, but don't over tighten it. Once it's snug in place, we can go ahead and take our tether strap, bring it over to the side. Now this is what our tether strap looks like from the side. Um, if you need to loosen it up, go ahead and do that with this. Then we're gonna take that tether strap and slide it over top of the bed cap and then tighten down the tether strap by hand. All right, repeat that on the opposite side. All right, next we need to attach our rear strike brackets. We're right next to the back of the bed of the truck. Where this is going to attach is right at the same point where our rear tie down cleat up at the top is. So we're gonna take the bolts out of our tie down cleat. They're gonna go back through here and then through the tie down cleat. And then we're just gonna tighten it down by hand for right now. I'm gonna take these out with a T30. All right, do the same on the opposite side. All right, now once we fold the cover back to the tailgate, you wanna make sure that your latch is in line with the latch strike. If it is not, you wanna adjust the cover to where that latch strike is in line. Make sure it's in line on both sides, driver and passenger side. Next, what we we'll wanna do is kinda of pull down on the cover just a little bit. Make sure it's uh, the seal on the side is making contact with the bed cap. Then we'll also wanna make sure that our latch is lined up side to side with our latch strike and then raise our latch strike up to where it engages that latch. Once that 
uh, latch is engaged, what we're gonna do is take our T30 uh, Torx driver and go ahead and tighten down the latch strike. Next, you're gonna wanna use the included T20 Torx wrench in your kit, tighten down this screw and this screw, then we're gonna repeat this entire process for the opposite side. Okay, now here is your twist handle that engages your latches. First thing you wanna make sure is that these cables are actually going through uh, where your set screws are. Uh, if they're not, make sure those are fished in place. Then we're going to center this in between the two. Take your T20 out of your kit, and go ahead and tighten down on both sides. Next, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down our set screws. We're gonna use our included two and a half millimeter from our kit. Let's go ahead and drop it down into the set screw and then turn until it locks down onto the cable. Now test make sure that it operates the latches and we can go ahead and close it and make sure everything latches in place. Well, that concludes the installation. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you wanna know more about the product, check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, you can call the experts or visit us online.